Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to Emily's Game. I am behind on doing this, but I wanted to get this out tonight before I go on a business trip tomorrow. I want to talk about the new patch that just released from Beta. We kind of discussed it a couple weeks ago, and we knew what was going to be in it, and the list of things is massive. Uh, but we're going to look at the features, some of the cool things that have been added to it that, that we, we might enjoy from time to time, uh, and then we'll talk about some of the quality improvements as well. The first feature that has been added is something in photo mode. As you know, we've all played with photo mode from time to time, but you can now change your facial expression, which is really cool. Um, there's quite a few. I'll just scroll through most of these here as I'm talking. But these are some of these are pretty good. Some of them are kind of like, eh, you know. But you have a little fun with this. Got the, got the, uh, got the duck face. The, the other really cool feature about this is you can also change your companion's face as well. So if I wanted us both to have the duck face, well, I could. <laughs> that may just end up being the, uh, the video's thumbnail. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the dying face. Flirt face. Happy. Oh, there's, there's quite a few. I was impressed with how many that they've added. Um, I didn't count them, but there's there's a good number. I like the yawn face. Got a fun little pose there. Anyways, that is the new photo mode uh, addition features. I don't believe they've changed any of the poses. I think those are all still the same. Of course, you know, combining those with some of the face, the face changes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are great. Anyways, um, let me know what you think about the photo modes. They're they're fun. I don't know how many of you play with the photo modes. I do sometimes because I'll, I'll post on Twitter a, a, a little little captioned photo of something going on. It's kind of neat to see. But anyways, that is the photo mode additions. Our next feature that was added is something that I said early on. How great it would be if you could actually open doors when you're in the scanner mode. Well, now you can. You can uh, pretty much open any door when you're in the scanner mode. That is so nice because sometimes when you run around just looking, uh -huh. how many times have you had to exit to open yeah. whatever you're going through? It's just convenience. It's nothing that great. It's just a nice little thing that I really wish we would have had added at some point. And here it is. All right, gang. Our next feature addition is the ability to actually set an inactive quest active once you've set course set location. Right now, I have no active quests. So nothing, nothing going on. As you can see, no little blue dots anywhere. So... I do know that I have a quest I can do on, I believe, a Jemison. Now, we're just going to go ahead and set this course. What I want to see is if we, I believe there's a package delivery I can do. I want to see if that sets that active. So it didn't set it active when I got there. I thought setting course would set it active, but I don't see it highlighted now. So let's see if uh, landing does it. That's a negative, my friends. Well, this is interesting. I believe this is the quest that I was thinking of as you can see right there it is all right we're gonna try that again i'm gonna turn this one off okay so we know we got to go to nasa that's an easy one right let's just go to nasa i've not been there in this unity verse this right here. Go to NASA. It's not blue yet. Let's see if it changes blue. Okay. It did not 
at that active. I can manually set it. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and land there and see what happens. Unexcited speed. Let's set it down. No, it did not set it active, so I don't know what's up with that feature. That's fine. I honestly don't think I'm going to like that feature. That's just going to clutter up my screen with, uh, hey, you have to do this, and I'm not going to do it. Or <laughs> not going to want to do it. Let me do it at my own time. Hey guys, this might be my most favorite update of them all for this patch. How many of you have stumbled over trying to find a system name? I know I have, and, and I know if you watch my live stream, she, you know I have too. <laughs> well, in this patch, you can now hold, uh, I believe it's if you're on Xbox, it's right bumper, but if you're on PC, if you hold Alt, it'll now show all the system names. It's still a pain to find a name. I really wish there was a search box. But it's definitely a hell of a lot easier. I think this is definitely uh, a much needed improvement. Probably, like I said, my most favorite of this patch. So let me know what you guys think of this one. I think this is a good one. And I'm looking forward to seeing this one get maybe even better. Okay, gang, the next feature update that I want to share is about Digipix. We all love them, right? <laughs> we all know them. We all love them. We all hate them. It's a love-hate thing. Anyways, it used to be that when you would work through your lock and you would have to undo, it would use a Digipix. Well, now, supposedly, that's not the case. So, as you can see, I have 91. I'm going to go through this. I'm not going to get this right. I'm going to purposely fail this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to back out as we progress here. See, see, I've used I've used the one to start the lock. That's a given. You're always going to use the one. So, and as you see, I've already screwed up. Yay, Emily, way to go. Okay, we're going to back out. As you can see, I still have 90. So, we're going to back out one. I'm going to do two. And it didn't waste digipix. That is nice. Because I don't know about you guys. I've screwed enough locks up in my day to... <laughs> to, uh... Yeah. I shouldn't have to say anything more about that. I don't think you guys all get it and understand. <laughs> Anyways, that is a really nice feature. I'm glad that they've added that because... It is just annoying as hell when you waste Digipix, especially when you don't have a lot. Um, it's a very nice feature. Test that out. Try it out. Let me know your thoughts on that. I think it's it's well-deserved. Uh, I think it should have been there from the beginning. But, you know, baby steps, right? There you go, you guys. All right, you guys. This next feature is an autosave when you fast travel from a planet's surface to orbit, which means you are not on your ship. You are away from your ship. You're trying to get the hell off a planet because God knows what's happening, and you just fast travel elsewhere. So, as you can see, my last autosave was at 5.02 p.m. today, which is 3.21. We're going to do that. We're going to jump to space if we can. And we're going to see if an autosave is automatically added. All right. We have left the planet and have now entered orbit. Well, I guess you'd call it orbit around the moon here. Let's see if we got us a new save. There we go. 5 of 3.30 p.m. That's nice. I think that's a, a great cover your butt situation there. So let me know what you guys think about that one as well. If you have any thoughts. All right, you guys, let me know what you think about this latest patch. I think it's got some much needed improvements and I don't know how much of it you guys have looked into, but just for fun, I listed out how many updates were included in this patch. There was a total of 519, give or take. That's a lot of patches. 
there are so many that I don't even think it would be worth the time for me to sit here and go through each one of them, but I will, I will scroll them through the screen here for you to check, and I will also post a link to Bethesda's page explaining each one of the uh, updates. Let me know if there's any specific updates you'd like me to, to record on, and I will uh, do my best to um, provide some information on, on the differences, the variances and such. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope this has been beneficial to you, and I do hope that you have not forgotten to like and subscribe and come back for more. Leave me comments. Leave me information and definitely join my discord server guys i love you i hope you're doing okay and i can't wait to see you again you guys take care have a lovely evening good night